Hey everyone, welcome back to the data learner. In this video, we will look at all possible real world scenarios for combining data from multiple Excel sheets using Power Query from the simplest case to more complex cases. By the end of the tutorial, you will be able to handle all kinds of messy Excel files. Like we will go through four scenarios. Scenario one will be easiest case. All sheets have the same name. Scenario two will be one workbook has a different sheet name. Scenario three, one file has multiple sheets, but you only want the first one and scenario 4 is more complex cases with scenario 4a will have sheets with different names like all sheets have different names and you have unwanted sheets also and scenario 4b will be all sheets you want to start with the same text for the complex scenario 4a we will also use chat gpt to simplify our task i have already done the research and prepared a ready to use m code which you can copy and use with just two small edits i will explain those changes step by step so that you can easily apply them to your own files let's get started scenario one easiest of all you have three files and each file has one sheet with same name as month let me show you I'll open my folder. I have Jan, Feb and March in my master scenario folder. And if I open Jan, you will see that each one has same sheet name by month. Even other two has the same thing. So how you will do it in Power Query? It's very simple. You will go to data, get data from file, from folder. You will take your master scenario one, two, three and open it. You will get onto this where your Jan, Feb, March is already loaded and you will say transform data. And this is your Power Query editor. In this, you will click on the combined files. It is evaluating the query and it can accept only one sheet. Since all of your sheets were named as month, you will click month and you will say OK. Within seconds, all your three files loaded into one. You got Jan, you got Feb and you got March. And if you go to your transform sample file, and look at the M code by navigating through the navigation. Click on the navigation and you will see that your source is looking for the month and it's looking only for the sheet. Like it is not looking for the table ranges or anything like that. It is just looking for the sheet and pulling the data from it. Now let's move on to scenario two. In scenario two, I'll do simple thing. I'll just open my folder, go to the downloads, go to the practice file and I will take April. I'll open the master scenario, paste it, open the Power Query editor and do a refresh and see what happens. It gives us error. Why? Because it is still looking for the file name month. But since the fourth one, which is April 25, has a different sheet name called report instead of month, it is getting confused. And how you can solve it? Very easily. Click on the transform sample file. In the navigation, you will not specify that look only for month. You will only tell Power Query, just look for the sheet. If you find any sheet, just pull it. So you will remove this code and then you don't get any error and you will come to your master file scenario and you see you got your April data as well. So you got Jan, Feb, March and April. So this was our scenario two. When you have a different sheet name, then you can just specify by going to transform sample file, going to navigation, just changing your M code, telling just find the sheet and pull the data out of it. Don't specify what will be the sheet name. If you have a single sheet with different name, this is the process you can follow. Okay. Now let's move on to scenario three. Again, what I will do, I'll come here. I'll now go to the downloads practice file. I'll take now May. I'll copy it. I'll come master file scenario. This time I'll copy May. I'll again come to the query editor do a refresh and let's see what happens. When I go to the master file scenario three, you get the error. If you see this, this means it's error and you didn't got the May data yet. Why? Because in May, you have more than one sheet, which is summary. How to handle those situations when you have more than one sheet? Let's again go to the transform sample file. Click on the navigation in this. Now what you will do is always remember in Power Query, Power Query starts from zero, one, two, three. OK, so the sheet name one, the first sheet will become zero. So this time what we will tell in our M code is just look for the sheet zero in all your files. 
okay no matter how many files might be there one two three four there might be four files but you just look for the first file because you know that your data is in the first sheet so you will change the code and say give the numbering look for the zero sheet and now when you come to the master scenario and you got the me data as well and only for the sheet one which is reporting so the scenario three is what whenever you have more than one sheet and you know that all your data is in first sheet always change the m code to zero and this will solve your problem now let's move on to scenario four in june data you have four to five sheets and you want to pull the data from first three sheets so here the m code will not work because here the m code on our scenario three is just pulling the first sheet so let's see how to solve that again with start so that will be our scenario 4b if you come to our scenario 4b i have all the files here and if i open jan it has a name sheet 1 and if i open let's suppose april it has name sheet 4 and if i open now june you will see it has sheet 6 sheet 7 sheet 8 and an unwanted sheet which is worksheet and you want to pull data from sheet 6 sheet 7 and sheet 8 how you will do it scenario 3 m code will not apply here because if you type 0 it will only pull the data from sheet 6 it will leave sheet 7 and sheet 8 and it will also leave worksheet which is good but we need data from these two as well again you will come to data get data from file from folder click on scenario 4b click on transform data and click on combine files click on sheet 4 because it will accept only one so it is giving sheet 4 it's okay we will change it later say okay this scenario will work when the name of your sheets from all the files have the same pattern at least at the start so if you saw in all our sheets it started with sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 so sheet is the pattern okay so remember that now it is throwing error you will go to transform file you will click on the navigation and this time you will use table dot combine open bracket from source you need the data say okay see it throws an error because we have written s-o-u-r-e it should be s-o-u-r-c-e now say commit and you got it but here the problem is what you know when you go to your scenario 4b first thing it will give you all the headers from other june file and second thing if you move on to your may it got you the unwanted sheets like if you see this there was another sheet where i have just given do not include do not include do not include for our reference so it is pulling the data from the unwanted sheet summary as well from the may file okay and from the june file if you see it is also giving you the unwanted sheet which is work which is the name worksheet i have given so it is giving you that and as well as it will giving you all the headers okay repeated headers how to solve this you will go to your transform sample file this time you will go to source you will click on the name since you know that all your files have a similar pattern with the name sheet you will click here click on text and filter and click on begins with insert and here you will write sheet it's case sensitive okay i'll not write one two three four because i just want the same pattern to observe so i'll say okay now I will come to my promoted headers i'll come here text to filters does not equal to airline because my first is airline so i'll write airline if you have any other thing you can write any other thing so i'll write airline so what it will do is it will avoid the other headers and i'll say okay sort it now when i come to my scenario 4b you will see you don't have any errors and any unwanted sheets which we said do not include and you have your may data only three earlier you had so many because it pulled the data from other sheet summary which we didn't want it so this is how you will solve when it is scenario 4b where you have a similar pattern names at least at the start of all your sheets okay now let's go to the scenario 4a if you're liking this video please i would recommend you to subscribe or comment it will be helpful for me now let's go to the scenario 4a in this let me open Jan, Jan 2025, sheet name is Jan. Okay. Likewise, if I open other, say Feb, it is written as Feb. So basically, the point is every file has a different sheet name. For Jan 25, it is Jan. For Feb, it is Feb. For March, it is March. For April, it is April. And if I open May, here you will see May and summary. This is an unwanted sheet I don't want. Okay. And if you open June, 
I want to pull the data from June, July and August and this worksheet is an unwanted for me. I don't want to pull the data from here. So how to do this? Here I took the use of ChatGPT. I already digged into ChatGPT and got a code which even you can use, I can use in our projects. Okay. First I'll show you how to use it, how to put it step by step and where to put it. So I'll come to quickly data, get data from file, from folder. In this I take scenario 4a. I'll say open, I'll click on transform data, click on combine files. I'll take the first because it will only give the first sheet. It's okay. We are going to change it any which ways. It will throw you error. How you will solve this one. Let's see. It's amazing. You will again come to transform sample file. Here you will delete your navigation by just clicking on this cross. Say delete your promoted headers by clicking on the course and you will click on the source, click on the advanced editor, delete this and just copy this code. Okay. I'll show you that also. And I'll just say done irrespective of different names in my all the files. And in the May file, I had one extra workbook, which I didn't wanted the data to pull it from in June. I had four worksheets in which first three, I wanted the data and the fourth one I didn't all got sorted. And the simple thing, what you will do, you can copy the same code. Let me show you the code. And the only thing you will change is here. This, this list will keep either extending or it will be the same depending on yours. Suppose you have a data with sheet, say reporting, which you don't want to get included. You will just come here to a comma, inverted commas open and you will just write reporting. Okay. Basically, whatever the name you have on your file and it is a case sensitive. So make sure if it is small, you will write it in small. If it is caps, you will write it in caps. That is one change you will do here. And if you come down, the next change you will do is here the airline because my first header was airline. I've written airline. If you have suppose date, you will write it as date. Okay. And I will show you that as well. I have a test. Okay. In this test file, I have an unwanted sheet by name metadata and my header starts not with the airline, but with the date. Now let me show you how you can use the same code. I have a sample test file here again from Jan through June. And if I open Jan, you will see I have a metadata and also I have a header starting with date. No matter whatever here it is, I'm just showing how you can remove the headers and how you can use the same code which I just showed you now and I have the metadata. So what I will do simple. I will again come to my file. I'll say data, get data from file, from folder. I'll do this quickly since you all know I will take this folder. I'll say open. I'll click on transform data, combine files. I'll take the first sheet. I'll come to transform file. I'll remove the promoted headers. I'll remove the navigation. I'll come to the source. I'll click on the advanced editor. I'll delete all and I'll just copy paste the code here in the exclude sheet. I'll do comma and I'll say don't include meta data. Now I don't know if the M was capital. So I'll just say comma and again I'll write one more meta data. Okay. And then I'll come down in the airline. It was not airline for me. It was date for me. So I'll just write date and here also I'll write as date. I'll say done. And you see just with that code, no matter what your sheet name was, no matter how many sheets were there, you can exclude the sheet. You can remove the headers, repeated headers and you got your data clean and crystal. If you like this video, please do share and subscribe. It will help me and I hope this video helped you as well to solve your real life office problems. I would say if you like this, thank you so much. See you in the next video.